Quick Crypto, bringing you Quick Casper News. We are at the pinnacle of anticipation, the calm before the storm. We have many bullish Casper updates, new all-time highs, leaks, as well as some rather concerning crypto and Bitcoin news, all just mere hours away now from the Bitcoin halving. But to just jump straight into it, according to Coinpedia Market, Casper is at the top of the 10 cryptocurrencies poised to be listed on Coinbase Exchange by the end of this year, 2024, which of course is massive news. And I wouldn't put it out of the realm of possibility, but I will save my reasonings as to why for a later video. So stay tuned for that. Moving on, we actually have a leak from Casplex co-founder Chris Kang of the Casplex platform for inscriptions on KRC20 Casper Network, which is very exciting of what is to come for Casper in the near future. Next up, Casper has officially achieved another massive milestone. We are now over one fifth, 20% of the way there to fully migrating from Golang to Rusty Casper, which is incredible. And the speed of this migration is actually, you know, kicking up a gear. It seems to have kicked up a gear and got even faster. So who knows? Maybe we could see 50% before the end of this month. And this will play a massive precedent into the bullish Casper forecast. As we can see from the Casper enthusiast, on the comparison chart between the price and hash rate of Casper, we can see an unprecedented discrepancy. Normally, as history has shown time and time again, Casper had a strong price increase after the price fell below the hash rate. But as we can see from the charts, this is not the case, at least not right now, most likely due to all the crypto world events. And now Casper is following Bitcoin like everybody else. But make no mistake, this is still very, very bullish. Casper's indicators have cooled off significantly and the hash rate and proportion to the rust nodes are rising sharply every single day, which is signaling that Casper is like a boiling pot of water reaching its pinnacle before it will start inevitably spinning over the top and go on a very violent explosion, a violent breakout. This price increase is only being postponed and with the halving now only mere hours away, less than 12 hours away, less than half the day remaining, it would be fair to assume that Casper is about ready to start spilling over the top soon. And with the price of Casper currently valued at 11.55 cent down 2.85% on the daily time frame, we are quite a ways away now from the top of 19.20 cents all time high. But that's all relative in my opinion, because long term side of things, 19, 20, 50 cents is nothing compared to the future price of Casper and the incoming halving could be the catalyst Casper and crypto needs. However, we have some words of wisdom or warning from Uphold's Director of Research, Dr. Martin Heisberg. There is a steep precipice or cliff, if you will, on the northern side of the mountains of Kong, travelers say. After that, the dry expanse of the Sahara Desert. Now, what does this mean? There are two ways to look at this, one being bullish and the other being bearish. The bullish view could resemble the precipice, the cliff, as a potential hurdle to overcome and the Sahara Desert as the unknown, therefore being the land of opportunity. But on the other hand, the bearish view, which is personally where I think Dr. Martin Heiberg is going with this, is predicting the precipice, the cliff, as the inevitable crash and the Sahara Desert as the desolate wasteland for which Bitcoin has no future, which sounds insane. Completely bearish, I know, considering the institutional adoption in crypto and the halving so very close. But then you pay attention to his next post. Some regulation discussions around my cryptography retreat leave me worried. This May slash June will be massive either way. In focus are stablecoins and decentralized finance both regulatory pushes could destroy this market at least for a few years. It should be no secret now that the world leaders are pushing hard for crypto regulations, bringing now oversight, adoption, and in time, therefore, more investors and money into this space. But Bitcoin won't be having regulatory oversight, at least from the research I've conducted, which may explain as to why Dr. Martin Heisberg believes that there may be a crash on the horizon. With regulations believed to destroy this market at least for a few years, 
But not just that, with the increasing worries of the United States freezing bank withdrawals, an expert in economics is warning that the Biden administration may be looking at ways to lock down your checking account, literally banning withdrawals from the banking system. I think the Sahara Desert is probably the best analogy to be given right now, a desolate wasteland that is full of the unknown, it could be dire, but it could spell opportunity as well. It's really down to time, we just don't know right now. And it is especially at times like these where you need to remain calm. Do your own research and remember what you are holding. If crypto and Bitcoin crashes, me personally, not financial advice, but I will just continue to fill my Casper back because I believe in its protocols, its developments, its longevity, its future. I know what I hold. With indicators of Casper's breakout imminent as well, I just have to sit back and watch. So just remain calm, do your own research, and remember, don't be emotional, be logical.